Hey everybody, this is a quick video on how to use the OpenOffice uh, spreadsheet to produce graphs. So I've got uh, some data here looking at the time and the height of individuals as they were doing a task. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select the data and we're going to sort this as as ascending. Um, so we're looking at the shortest time and then the corresponding height. And these should arrange the way they were typed in. So once we have that, now we need to go ahead and insert our graph. So we go to the insert column and we're going to click a chart. And now because this relationship is looking at a linear growth, as they get taller, we should see their time decrease. We're going to go ahead and use a scatter plot and look at how the data falls. So we go to insert and then click on scatter and then click on finish. And as you can see, it will put in uh, a graph here based on the data that we've selected. And we can drag this around and we can move it wherever it needs to be, but it's got everything in it, you know, the, the position it needs to be in. Uh, we can look at trend lines. Um, we're not going to worry about that today. So again, you go to insert, and because this is a linear relationship, or we're hoping to see a linear relationship, we just do a scatter plot. On my second sheet, this would be like the right hand versus left hand. Um, this is not necessarily linear. We're going to be looking at individual right hands and left hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to insert again, insert a chart, and we're going to keep it as a bar graph this time because for each individual, so for person one, their left hand in orange was able to catch something uh, or was not able to catch something nearly as quickly as their right hand in blue. And so we can see our left and right over here in blue and then they've got all the data selected over here. So when you're comparing two things, it might be better sometimes to use a bar graph rather than a scatter plot. So uh, again, either way to put in a chart, i will show you one more time using this, we'll get rid of that. You've got your data, you go to insert, chart, automatically pulls it up, change your chart type here, click finish, and there it is, ready to go. And now you can save this and insert it into another document or whatever you need it to be in.